Hello again, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today I would like to share with you guys Diana and Leona, a mono, a Legion's Targon deck that I actually managed to quickly gain 150 LP with going 9-2 and, and taking games off some of the popular meta decks right now. If you enjoy this video and the gameplay I'm going to share with you today, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new here for some more Runeterra videos see yeah, how guys have a fantastic day and thank you for the support as always so this is something i was playing last night after dropping like i think i lost like 10 games in a row and i was feeling quite kind of like down and out I had to keep like reforming myself and i started to win some games with this and that was really cool so i'm gonna run it back today it's mono targon I'm not even hiding the fact that I'm only running Targon cards. I could very easily. We were peaceful once. It looked cool. I wanted to give it a shot. No more hiding. Yeah, there's a there's a lot going on. At least Targon isn't a boring region. No. And we've got Mountain Scryer. Mountain Scryer doesn't see much play, but you know, it makes a lot of sense to run it in a um, Targon list. Can you show deck list? I can. I can. Solaria Soldier is kind of great here, isn't it? Completely shuts down our opponent's attack. Some of you may be seeing double at the moment. Uh, we can pass here and then threaten the vengeance. Now you've gone and upset it. Video shell, very nice. Sunlight guiding my brethren. Taking meteor shell, I feel like meteor shell is pretty consistently a safe keep. If I swing like this, doesn't make much sense, right? So now the Meteor Shower threatens the development play, so that's really good for us. He ultimately decides to go for the open attack here. This is fine. Uh, we can take the spell you block. What are we reversing? This is just like aggro spiders, right? Maybe playing Mountain Squire is okay. Uh, the Serpent's gonna be good here. Alternatively, the Messenger is cheap, but I think the Serpent's gonna be... We need as much cheap cards in this matchup as possible. So he flips the, um, he flips the... At least, right? I guess that's okay. Okay, so... I don't think we'll I don't think we'll be playing Sunburst this turn. Let's do this. These double pale cascades are pretty cool in terms of blocking fearsome units next turn. It's a little bit frustrating, but we can still work around this. can still work around this. So if he plays an Elise, we'll Pale Cascade. Maybe I should do this now. There might be a reason to do it now, actually. This is probably correct. Sweet! What? New card. Who the fuck's playing Calling Strike in that list? The one of Calling Strike? There's no way he runs more than one, right? That was super unexpected. 
and travels in the night air. Back, heretic. How's this for a punishment? You leave me no recourse. Yep, this looks fine. He's got three cards left in hand, right? We're we're really good here. I can play Dinah this turn. I can play Dinah for cheap, but I have no Nightfall activator for her next turn. The Challenger might be useful. I guess we can just pass for now. It's probably just a Decimate, isn't it? Big Decimate. Big Decimate, dude. Alright. Legion Rear Guard. Cool, I think we're winning. It's going to be pretty awkward for us to lose this game, right? Raise your weapon, Sunwood. I have my orders. Ill met by moonlight. The moon is our queen, the night her kingdom. I don't hate it. I don't hate the the card choice. I was just completely shocked. All right. Now the question is, do I attack the Fearsome unit, or do I attack the Legion Saboteur? Because let's say, for example, he plays Frenzied Skitterer, right? Nice. Mm. I think it's pretty unlikely for him to have the Frenzied Skitterer backed up. Yeah, Fearsome, 100%. I do have some healing. I should probably swing here as well. Maybe I can even swing here. Yeah, this, is, this looks acceptable. You can take like a value trade. The only, the other alternative is if, if I don't play around Frenzied Skitterer. Yeah, what does that mean now? It means he can drag, drag. I need another three attack unit. I think I need to play Shield Bearer because he can swing, block, block. Yeah, we can just play like this and this, right? So basically, he needs Stalking Shadows into Frenzied Skitterer to have a chance here. Let's see it. Doesn't appear to be the case. So I'm tanking five. Yeah, so if I, had, if I hadn't have gone for the Fearsome unit, as you can see here, I would be in some trouble, wouldn't I? I'm just gonna play a Lenari Priestess. Take the Messenger. Or I can go for lethal next turn. Message is fine. So here's where he goes for the decimate. No? Okay. Now we're chilling. I need to give Dine a challenger, so we'll do this. Any reason we didn't use our mana? To play around Noxian forever. I need to keep star shaping mana up. No more lies. 
I think I need to kill him this turn. One face and two face him, that's fine. Maybe I could have star shaping right there. Top deck harrowing, I think he can still win this game. Uh, sure. That should be game, right? Feels pretty good. The words of the heretic rang true. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm a big fan of this deck. Um I like winning. Fat Yumi. This guy's been playing discard aggro. He's been playing scouts. Legit. This guy's been like going hard. 76 LP. No, I think it's gonna be cool if the misplay counter just counts indefinitely. I think that would be very cool. I hope to make it say like eventually like 1000 misplays. Well hopefully not, but you know what I mean. The big number is going to look cool. Keep the Solari Soldier, Leona is going to be pretty good. On defensive turns, Mountain Scry is probably too greedy. Anything we could take out to have 2 times Hush, definitely. Probably Lunari Priestess, you could definitely take out Lunari Priestess. I do like the three sunburst. I think sunburst is in a decent spot in the current meta. Like not that you would play a deck with sunburst, but if you decide to play a deck that can use sunburst, sunburst actually isn't that bad right now. It was kind of terrible against Lee Sin, but we don't not seeing much Lee Sin. Yeah, alternatively, actually, um, the Dusk Bringer feels kind of weak too. Let me bring up the deck. Yeah, Lunari Duskbringer is probably be a bit more of a weaker card. I like consistently finding a one drop though. Playing a playing a one drop is very powerful. Devotion to battle. Yo, what's up, Vern's? If I play this, I can play some burst next turn. As long as we keep up an answer, as long as we keep up an answer to Misfortune, we should, we should be fine. Yeah, I thought about running the, I thought about running, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought about running Spacey Sketcher. My issue is that my experience playing the card is very bad. I find that when I play Spacey Sketcher, I have a very tough time deciding what to discard. It's actually not that easy to play Spacey Sketcher. Spacey Sketcher has a very high ceiling. I think that's why it might seem bad as well. It's harder to decide what to pick off that than it is what to decide to pick from other stuff. <laughs> you fucking miss his allegiance. So what's to play here, guys? Maybe I start to set up some thick units. How does he punish Leona? He does not really. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why he keeps losing games and he's only 76 LP. I think that makes sense though, Hawk. Because you have to discard a card in your hand very early in the game. Discarding cards very early in the game is very difficult. How do we feel about passing here, knowing that my opponent wants to play Misfortune? I can't play anything that doesn't allow me to play Sunburst. It's always a pass here, right? If your opponent burns that much mana, I think you're in a good spot. I wonder if I just I wonder if I should just put Ruination in this deck. I don't know. I'm one of the good guys, but not that 
Um, okay. He could have the second misfortune. If he plays the second misfortune, I don't think it's the worst. Let's just, yeah, clear the threats. There's literally no outplay because the sunburst will silence. Ah, uh, flipping Leon is really nice too. Him missing the Bannerman does matter though. It really does matter. These could be three twos. Looking for trouble. It found you. So he does have the second misfortune. I guess that's pretty reasonable for him. There's no good trades here unless he has um Ranger's Resolve. Um, I think we do Tippy. I think we do. But let's let's envision him not missing the Bannerman right now. Isn't this just kind of trolley? Isn't it just a really kind of trolley to swing with the misfortune? I guess he might be in a desperate spot, right? He's probably saying to himself now, I'm in a very bad spot. I think I need to swing with misfortune and use um the two mana burst speed spell. I can play Pale Cascade though. So Pale Cascade will protect my Leona and I think we're in a great spot, right? That's a very weak Ranger's Resolve. How much mana do we have next turn? We have seven mana, right? I'll be damned. Cool. I can do something cheeky here where I develop the warrior and Diana. He probably won't develop then. I don't think we're passing though, right? Hey Max Violet, how are you? Yeah, if he passes, we have a wall of stats, right? I like this line. And we can keep our Daybreak units for next turn. He shouldn't develop here, right? And now I can force him to, s to burn that mana. Do I want to play Diana as well? Or do I just pass here? Another good spot to pass. What's the time? 1-1-0-4. Yeah, this looks right. We'll pass. Now, if he starts to develop like, you know, Quinn or anything, I can start to play my Daybreak units and stun him down. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Needs Our sun will not set today. Okay, so what he can do here is he can Vela, trade off my Leona, I can replay Leona. This will make a lot of sense for him to scout now. I've got your back. Oh, okay. What happens if I do this? It's not going to stun the bird, is it? Oh, I see the line. I see the line. I think. 
It might be a little bit risky, but it could also be nuts. I'm going to star, star shaping to heal up my Leona. Yeah, I like this. I like this. And we'll take a uh, removal. Cosmic Rays. I think that's going to win the game, right? That was a very good line. It looks like he might be rallying here. That's going to feel kind of really bad for him. Okay. Um, there's realistically only so much you can do to stop this. I can tell you for sure if my opponent had... Um, what's the card called? If your opponent has Sharp Sight, they use it on Valor every time. So I don't think they have Sharp Sight. They might have Repost. I guess Repost is pretty good, right? This, this looks fine. Like how... I don't think we'll get too punished. I don't think there's a huge punishment here. One repost keeps one unit alive. Unless he top deck sharp sight. And if he held back sharp sight, what a mad lad. Alright, I think we're playing really clean today. I think we're playing pretty clean, except for that one misplay last game. I get to watch me struggle all preseason. I look forward to it. No hapless aristocrat. You're gonna try to break the game. What role do you play? Uh, League of Legends. Bear Cavs plays League of Legends. Uh, four mana, nothing too spooky. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Follow the horizon. Yeah, falling combat's really cool because we can obliterate the karma. If we obliterate Karma, then when he plays it... Okay. Looks like he's going for a slow play this turn. Keeping up mana for Ruination. I'm just going to keep invoking. I'm going to keep finding Obliterate cards. Um, Cosmic Inspiration. Cosmic Inspiration. I think I like Cosmic here, actually. Where's the Sudden deck? In my library. Uh, it's the uh, Malkai Aurelian Soul one. Oh, he's playing something fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, I can get my cosmic off. That's really good for us. Yeah, he'll like ping something off. That's fine. These permanent buffs are going to be really nice. Another thing I like about these Targon decks, these Invoke Targon decks, is that your opponent doesn't really play around stuff properly. Because, like, they don't know what to do. I 
I feel like I'm in control now. I feel like I can play the control game. Now, ideally... Ideally, when he plays Karma, we want to fall in combat it. So if he denies this, I'm happy with it. But obviously he won't. I don't think I need to... I think going double Cosmic's probably a trap. I'll take the Supernova here. That's fine. We can go as far as to play Diner if we want to start going kind of aggressive. I like it. Hero looks like a Pokemon trainer today. Thank you. That was the objective I was going for. Pretty easy open attack. We'll play around Ruination here. This should be a pretty easy deny. There's no other choice but to deny this. I'm not going to play around deny though. But that's pretty much what he has to do here. I wonder if I might have been correct going for Supernova here. Because I have no way to activate. Because I don't behold a Celestial. How do you get that sidebar thing? It is the Mobilitix downloaded thing. So if you download the app, if you download the deck tracker, you can actually put this up in game. This is a very long time to decide not to deny this. I have written in the stars. That's true. Thanks, Squirky. Pointing that one out. Maybe he's tilted? Because he has no deny? I love that. I'm so happy to hear that. If you have deny there, you do play it 100% though. I'm convinced, right? That's definitely a rage quit, Arcanus. <laughs> now we know he has no, um... Uh, he checked out. He's not happy, dude. Let's not get baited here. Oh, dude, he actually checked out. He He's gone, dude. <laughs> he didn't concede. He just quit the game. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Snap. A full moon casts her light across the land. 